In this question, we've got to use g is equal to 9.8 meters per second per second. A scale pan of mass 2 kilos is attached to a light inextensible vertical string. The scale pan carries two weights, A and B. The mass of A is 400 grams and the mass of B is 600 grams. A rests on top of B as shown in the diagram. The scale pan is raised vertically using the string with acceleration 0.8 meters per second per second. So find part A, the tension in the string. OK, so just as we did with the lift, we are going to focus our attention just on the scale pan first. OK, so just focusing on the scale pan, OK, there will be the tension in the string, pulling it upwards, and we will have its weight working vertically downwards, which will be a combination of the mass of the scale pan, which is 2 kilos, plus the mass of A, plus the mass of B. Now, 400 grams and 600 grams is 1 kilo, so in total we'll have 3 kilos, which is 3 lots of G for its weight. And this is accelerating upwards at 0.8 metres per second per second. OK, so looking at the forces that are working vertically, taking upwards as positive, We've got T take away 3G is equal to the mass 3 times the acceleration 0.8. So we can work out the tension. So 3 times 0.8 plus 3 times 9.8 and we get 31.8 newtons, which is 32 newtons to T sig fig. OK, because we're using G as 9.8. So that's part A. Part B, find the force exerted on B by A. So we want to focus our attention on A now. So focusing our attention on A, there will be a normal reaction force for A because it's in contact with the surface B. And we'll have its weight working vertically downwards. Now its mass is 400 grams, so this must be written in kilos, so 0.4g working vertically downwards and it's accelerating upwards at 0.8 metres per second per second. So the reaction force for A um, will be the force exerted on B by A, just as we looked at in the previous video. So that normal reaction force, take away 0.4g, is going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration. So we've got 0.4 times 0.8 plus 0.4 times 9.8. And we get 4.24 newtons, which is 4.2 newtons to two significant figures. OK, so we can say uh, the force exerted on B by A is 4.24 newtons downwards. And we're going to use that in the next part. So for part C, find the force exerted by B on the scale pan. So focus your attention now on B. So on block B, we've got its weight working vertically downwards which is going to be its mass, 600 grams, so 0.6 kilos times by gravity. And we're going to have its normal reaction, um, so Rb, working vertically upwards because it's in contact with the base of the scale pan. Now we've also got A above it pushing down at 4.24 newtons. So we've got to include that. And it's accelerating upwards at 0.8 meters per second per second. So Rb, so going upwards, take away 0.6g, take away 4.24, it's going to be equal to the mass 0.6 times acceleration 0.8. 
So we have 0 0.6 times 0 0.8 plus 4.24 plus 0 0.6 times 9.8. And that should get us 10.6 newtons, which is 11 newtons to 2 sig fig. So the force exerted on the scale pan by B is 10.6 newtons downwards. Okay, so a very similar problem to what we did before. Um, hopefully you've been able to have a go at this one given uh, that you've watched the previous one.